So anyways, this is Arlene. And my, um, the video was stopped on me. So anyways, I am on my walk to the um, basin. And uh, what happened was I had turned on the video and of course someone knocks it off when I'm talking. So I'm making, I'm redoing it. And uh, what happened was, I don't know who, I guess they have, like not everybody, but I've noticed that when I'm making my videos, they'll either have a switch to, um, they'll have a switch to uh, shut down my video or they, like when you see when somebody's being videotaped on the news and they, they blur that area. So that's what happened sometimes too. So that, those two things are kind of new, but I do get knocked off a lot. I'm sure everyone knows that I'm making videos, but I thought that was interesting. And then also, um, um, oh, so some of the things that happened that I couldn't talk about before because I was doing all this talking and they had knocked me off my video is that um, I... Okay, I have I made a video on the pear, and the pear was um, which I call it just um, vandalized. So I'm thinking is that somebody went and got the pear and they uh, threw it around and made it bruised, and then they must have put it in the freezer, and so um, they put it in the freezer. And then uh, that's probably uh, what had happened is that um, they put it in the freezer and then um, put it back in the refrigerator. So that had to have happened uh, probably last night. And then my bananas, I don't know what they did with my banana, but uh, something happened with my banana. And I'm not really quite sure what it is, but... Um, they mess with my bananas. So when I get back from my walk, I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna um, open one of the bananas and see what happened. And then um, I changed the locks, but I noticed one thing that happened is I bought water. And so when I left for a while and then I came home, somebody had chewed a wad of gum and they had um, put the wad of gum inside my, um, inside my purse so um what i did is um uh <clears throat> so that tells me that somebody was in there and then what happened also is um with my uh what happened was oh let me see what else happened they mess with my bananas and stuff. I'm already losing my train of thought. And I am losing it. Not losing it, but I can't remember. They mess with my bananas and then they mess with the pear. They did the water. And then, um, oh. I know they did something. Let me see. I can't remember what it is, but I know they did something. So I did the video. Oh, when I was at Trader Joe's in Pasadena, um, what had happened is um, this girl in the produce section, she holds her cell phone against my head. And what happened was that, um, so I, I mean, before I, I, uh, I could tell her anything or even ask her why she was doing that, she took off like a beeline. And so I finally caught up to her in the produce section. I wasn't gonna like run after her and make it look obvious. And I just got my video and I made a quick video of her. And then shortly after that, she just went to the checkout stand and disappeared. So I thought that was also interesting too. Um, and that had happened before. I was at uh, 
I was through work. I was at a, a meeting at UCI, and what had happened was um, we were at a meeting, and we went on a sustainability tour. But the interesting thing that had happened is that for some reason I turned real quick, and my supervisor at that time had her cell phone. She was short because she wasn't wearing any um, high heels. And her name's Vanessa. And I caught her holding herself, trying to get her cell phone, like reaching up so that her cell phone would touch my head. And the other girl that I work out in the field with on the beverage container program, um, what was interesting, she seen what was going on. So I know, like, I mean, it's obvious I know I work with perps and stuff. And there's not much I could do about it. And, you know, they're polite to me. And I'm polite back to them. So I, you know, I just do that. I mean, you know, you have to work together. So I'm not going to let anybody make me leave my work and I'm not gonna do anything to get myself into trouble to leave work so anyways I just decided the next time that I catch someone at work trying to hold up their phone on me I'm gonna just send them a polite email copy my supervisor and tell them exactly what had happened and that uh, not to ever do it again because cell phones are harmful and I'll look up something on the internet regarding cell phones and uh, just tell them the next time they do it I'm going to file a formal complaint against them and I think by doing that uh, maybe people think twice before at, during working hours at least um, about holding up their cell phone. But I'm thinking, well, it happens in public, as you just seen in that video. And it's like I can't have the video of my camera on all the time when I'm out and about all the time. I do keep it on for driving, because you've seen a lot of things that have happened. But other than that, I mean, I can't have it on at work. I shouldn't have to have it on at work because someone's going to like try and hold their cell phone up against me. So, anyway, um, that's something I really um, didn't really like because, and I really don't know because on some of the podcast calls, People say they do that because they have an app and whatever, this app can do something. Uh, like, I don't know, not like read your thoughts, but it does something. So anyways, but then I'm thinking, if they want to hold your cell phone to your head and they have an app, is it to read your brain waves or is it because you already have something inserted? That I don't know. Can't figure that one out. But um, if you have any thoughts on that, um, you know, just let me know. And you could uh, let me know about it. And we could talk. Uh, well, not talk, but you could give me your suggestions on it because I really don't know um, what, to, what to make of it and stuff. So I'll be open to it. And I get a lot of dog walker perks. Oh, he's such a cute dog. Um, so, oh, excuse me. So anyways, um, that was a cute dog. Anyway, so I just wanted to talk a little bit about that. Uh, I hope I don't have to repeat this all again because my videos, um, I have to start them over a lot. 
Okay, so anyways, this is the basin where I walk, and then this is like a perp car right there. So, there must be somebody cruising because this gate is usually locked, so that tells me there's a vehicle in here. It should be the security vehicle, but sometimes there's been like private vehicles. And one of my older vehicles, I got this truck, and I guess he didn't think that was going to videotape him or wasn't really sure. And after that, I stopped seeing residents and their cars driving around through here. So I'm assuming it's through their neighborhood watch program. I don't know. But um, I just wanted to share it. So this is the basin and stuff. And um, it's a really nice area. This part's dried out, but beyond there, it's filled with water and there's ducks and stuff. So it makes being here nice, even though I do have the airways. And then we have, I think it's the same two that speeded earlier. No, it's another one. So anyways, that's about it. <laughs>